Hello everybody here. I will talk briefly about the risk for atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease of having high risk conditions like people who have aged more than 65 years and um, heterozygous familiar hypercholesterolemia, history of prior, uh, prior uh, coronary artery bypass surgery or percutaneous coronary intervention outside of the major atherosclerosis cardiovascular disease events. Uh, diabetes mellitus is one of the major high risk conditions. Hypertension also, uh, chronic kidney disease with EGFR between 15 to 59 uh, milliliter per minute per 1.7 uh, 23 meter square. Or currently smoking, persistent, elevated of LDL more than 100 milligram, um, despite maximally tolerated statin therapy and ezetimib, and also history of congestive heart failure. On the other side of the table, you see here um, modifiable uh, cause of high risk of atherosclerosis. So these causes can be modified and it's preventable if um, we could work on that, like um, diabetes, you know, risk, specific risk enhancer that are independent of the other risk factors in, in diabetes mellitus, like long duration, more than 10 years, 20, uh, 10 years for type 2, um, and more than 20 years for type 1 diabetes. Also, albuminuria, more than 30 microgram of albumin per milligram creatinine, or a GFR less than 60 ml or presence of retinopathy, neuropathy, or um, ankle brachial index less than 0.9. As you know, this ankle brachial um, index is, index is a score for um, uh, showing um, peripheral artery disease, and which is uh, between one, above one, it's normal. Between 0.9 to one, it's acceptable, or it can be called mild disease. Um, sorry, um, 0.8 to 0.9 is uh, mild disease, uh, 0.5 to 0.8 moderate arterial disease, at least than 0.5, which uh, call to go with um, uh, severe arterial disease, may refer this patient to vascular specialist. Um, ABI you know, in diabetes, it's about, sensi sensitivity is about 51%, and in non-diabetic, about 66%, with CKD, about 43%, and non-CKD, about 60%. Um, thank you for listening.